Stephen William Grant really has a formidable stable of products in travel retail, including some of the most impressive uh, and exclusive offerings. Just how have these exclusives been working for William Grant, both here in the States and globally? The travel retail exclusives that we've developed uh, over the last several years has um, has been formidable. I would agree. I would agree with your with your word there, uh, and it's been very very successful um, in a number of our different of our different categories. Obviously, Glenfiddich and our single malts uh, leading the way. Travel retail exclusives have really changed the game. Uh, I believe that our 19-year-old age of discovery range, uh, which I think you can see behind me, uh, is is absolutely best in class. Uh, and uh, if you look around the world at, at the uh, the sales on that, uh, it, it, it's fantastic. It's a driving force in in our business. The way we're going forward, uh, we're very focused on gifting uh, the research and the uh, the commentary that we're getting back uh, as as far as the business trend. Uh, is that is that gifting, particularly in uh, in whiskies, in single malts, uh, other categories as well, of course, uh, gifting is a key component of of the sales mix and the consumer decision making. Uh, we really think that those exclusive offers that we develop um, are critical to that. What have you brought new to this particular show? We're upweighting uh, a number of our brands that that aren't our single malts. Uh, obviously. We're a Scotch whiskey company. We're a, we're a Scottish-owned company, family-owned. Um, our calling cards are Glenfiddich, Balvenie, our malt, our malt ranges, uh, which we can talk about more as well. But we do have we do have an excellent portfolio beyond our beyond our single malts, uh, including Milagro Tequila, Reka Vodka, which is our Icelandic vodka, Monkey Shoulder, which is a blended malt whiskey. And at this show, what we've really been doing is upweighting the other brands in the portfolio, Sailor Jerry, obviously, and then the great Hendrix Gin, which we, we've made a lot of noise over the past year in the gin category, really bringing that back up. Now, that's a great product, um, but enough of a plug for now. So just how do you see the liquor market developing here over the next 12 months? The spirits market in, in travel retail in the Americas, I think, is robust. Uh, I think we have some some issues, but I don't, I don't think that they are... Uh, there's anything that that I foresee that's out of the ordinary. I see the business being strong uh, for the next 12 months. Uh, I see William Grant's within that uh, becoming even more of a leader than we already are. Just how much importance do you place behind premiumization? It's hugely important. Uh, it, it, it drives. Uh, it really is a driver of our of our total thinking. Uh, that's been. That's been our mantra really for the last several years um, across the portfolio. Uh, obviously with our, malt, with our malts, where we're really pushing, again going back to some of those travel retail exclusives, some of the innovation. Uh, we're always pushing, pushing up, pushing up, pushing up. Pre Premiumization is absolutely critical to our business. Now of course William Grant have developed some very strong partnerships, yeah. relationships with retailers here yeah. in the States. I mean, how do you see this evolving over the next 12 months? Um, are you going to be spending as much emphasis on innovation um, and investment yes. as you were? Yes, of course, absolutely we are. We place a premium, obviously. It's a priority for us to have long-term relationships, establish long-term relationships with partners, retail partners. Um, and there's always give and take. And uh, William Grants, because it's, it's a family-owned company, uh, has, has the luxury uh, and chooses to take a long-term view. Those partnerships are absolutely critical. Long-term partnerships with partners that we can rely on, uh, not just this year to hit a number, not, uh, not just this year or next year, but over the, over the long term. Uh, and absolutely, those, those partnerships have allowed us, have allowed us to uh, punch above our weight, to use your words. You can't be best friends with everybody, of course, um, but we would like to be. Uh, we would like to have very, very strong retail partnership, partnerships with, the re with more retail operators. So yes, we'd like to be expanding those. In one sentence, what are your key objectives for the next 12 months? I'd like to eat out more often, um, get more sleep. Just kidding, sorry. <laughs> uh, I think I'll keep that in. <laughs> thanks. Yeah, get more sleep, I think. You, you, just, just, no. Um, Key, key objectives for, for the next 12 months. Um, really, uh, as I was saying earlier in the interview, um, make sure that, the, uh, that we aren't a one-trick pony. Uh, obviously, this, the, the, the conversation begins with Glenfiddich. Uh, 
that's how it is. That's our that's that's our calling card. Uh, number one, still uh, as it should be. Um, but we do have a very strong portfolio. So uh, as far as I'm concerned, getting real traction with Tullamore Dew, Milagro Tequila, the other brands, Monkey Shoulder, keeping the energy and the, and the success story on Hendrix and Sailor Jerry going, really, really making sure that happens. And one brand we uh, I haven't talked about yet is the Balveni. We have established a travel retail exclusive range for Balveni, uh, which is going to replace the current range, which is available in domestic and duty free. It's the Balveni triple cask range. 12-year-old, 16-year-old, and 25-year-old, which we're introducing into the market globally now, and that will that will play the role for Balveni as the range going forward in travel retail. But going back to, to your innovation question, that that is that is core to our to our uh, our business at the moment. So absolutely, there will be new variants, new expressions, new packaging. Um, put behind our, our, our core portfolio. Exciting times ahead. It's very exciting times. It's very exciting times.